Okay, all right, let's get started now. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you here again. So this is the 1st of June and this is on Tuesday. So new month and new tries. Hopefully we see some new trends on the month of June here today. Okay, so we have a couple of news. We have a couple of uh, news events today and also uh, some pairs are trending at the moment. So uh, I will review a couple of pairs and see what's happening in the market and what we can expect for the markets for the month of uh, June this month and also this week as well. So let me squeeze my face. Okay. All right, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer is that uh, this information basically is uh, based on my own experience. And so when you take trades, please do with the own risk management. So let's see who's here first real quickly and let's get into some charts now. All right, so Rosh, Karim, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. LaMay, good to see you too. Blackwater fights, Gustavo and Juan Asif. Thank you for joining, Salene, good to see you too, Jorg, Jai, Kulan and Tron, James, Marusan, thank you for joining, great to see you here. So, let's see, so first of all, um, let's see which one, which currency is very strong at the moment or which currency is, uh, pair is trending. So, let me start from the currency strings chart. So uh, in terms of the strength chart today, um, the ca CAD, Canadian dollars is quite strong today and also pound is weak, New Zealand is also weak. I don't personally trade the New Zealand pairs, but I can see that New Zealand is also weak today. And Euro um, just moved upwards a little bit due to the news was positive, the turnout of the news was positive earlier, so Euro has been bought right now. And Swiss franc is also a bit strong. JPY is going down and USD is sideways at the moment. So we can look at the CAD pairs today, CAD pairs. So let's see. And actually I'm gonna trade on the USD CAD right now. So uh, I will touch on that one too. Or briefly touching on the uh, on the news today um, earlier there was a some euro news here uh, in um, Germany and also euro itself there was a CPI report turnout was the same and CPI um, May was a bit you know positive so overall euro has been bought today and uh, there is a um, ISM manufacturing PMI uh, just came out but it's sideways still there is not much difference from previous and consensus so looks like uh, uh, it looks like the dollar is not really affected by this news. So we have another one uh, from uh, BOE's governor uh, Bailey speech will be here in about one hour so we have to be careful on this news. Pound could be affected by this news so we have to just watch out. So let me go into some of the uh, the pairs and CAD pairs. So first, let me check the, uh, let's see, which one to go for. Um, yeah, Cat JPY. All right, so Cat JPY, and this is on the daily chart. And what we can see here is that this is bullish, first of all. The Kumo is uptrending at the moment. So every time I see chart, I see Kumo Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen also in Chikou Span location and I do this in multiple time frames. So at the beginning of the day, I look at the daily chart as a major confirmation, major uh, direction in the market and this is uptrending right now because simply the Kumo single Span A is up for us and B is flat, the Kijun Sen is up and Tenkan Sen is also moving upwards this way and Chikou Span above the candles. So as per Ichimoku basics, this is simply bullish market. So we can expect the market goes up continuously along the way. There is a resistance at 91.608 level. So the price could be retraced by, by that level. 
but overall it's bullish, so as long as the market is above the Tenkan Sen on the daily chart, I expect the market goes up continuously this way and breaks the previous recent high, in my opinion. So this one is a good one to look for the buy chance. So I will go down to one hour chart. Let's see. In one hour chart, looks like the market has been retracing at the moment. The Kuma became flat, and Kijun Sen flat too, Tenkan Sen flat too, and Bachiko span above the candles. So, uh, and we have this engulfing candlestick. This is an inside bar. This uh, the previous candlestick has been engulfing the current forming candlestick. So this is inside bar structure. So I will wait for the market breaks the previous resistance level in one hour chart, which is at 91.186 level. And once it breaks, I will look for the buy chance is my scenario. Otherwise, it can retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen in this case. Let me squeeze a chart, and uh, yeah, it looks like this is uh, a bit ranging. The market went downwards on this uh, consecutive reverse in waves after this um, pin bar. And exactly here, at uh, 15 UTC uh, yesterday, the market went up in bullish in wave, and now it looks like this is bullish in a wave. So, I expect the market goes up. It's retracing backwards now on this one hour chart basis, but it could be bouncing with this Tenkan Sen and continuously goes up this way, is my scenario. So, that's one. And also, I checked the 30 minute chart too. So, if I can see the 30 minute chart, it's also ranging and retracing. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. But Chikou span above the candles and the price is still above the Tenkan Sen. So this is bullish on 30 minute chart basis too. Um, it's about to break the Tenkan Sen downwards now. So I can see the retracement in the market. But because the daily chart is too bullish, I expect the market goes up on the consecutive end waves like this way in bullish. There was a nice bounce of the Kijun Sen in one hour chart once and twice before. So it could trace backwards to Kijun Sen but um, it can be supported by this line and it can go up this way too. So we'll see um, how far the market is going to trace. But right now, as I see the market, this is in the middle of the retracement. So I want to look for any buy chance in lower time frames. So what I usually do is I check daily or forward chart to capture major direction, major uh, situation in the markets, and then I break it down to one or 30 minute chart and if I can confirm the trend by one or third minute chart time frames, then I go down to 15 or 5 and look for an entry edge. So my trades are based on the lower time frames, 5 or 15 minute time frames on these forex pairs. But my target or um, the, the way I trail the profits is basically based on a daily chart or forward chart basis. So this is the better risk reward ratio if you if you can trade like this way i used to trade only one single time frame and i have been struggling with the risk reward ratio but um, after i see the multiple time frames in the market then uh, when i start to take trades based on the lower time frames while checking the bigger and major trend directions then uh, my risk reward ratio became naturally better and better so that's why uh, this is my strategy. But uh, yeah, this multiple time frame analysis is not introduced on the Ichimoku original books. And this is just my original. Um, I use the Ichimoku Kinkohyo on the higher time frames and mid time frames. But when it comes to the entry edge, in by 5 or 15, I check price action lines and a couple of other. Um, strategies, including Tokyo Box strategy I use also. But until I go down to lower time frames, actually in this situation, the market is retracing at the moment because simply once again, this uh, Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So um, it could retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen in 30 minute chart. And also in one hour chart, 
it can also retrace backwards to Tenkan-sen here. There was a couple bounce for the Tenkan-sen once and twice before or three times, but now it's kind of tracing. And also it was resisted by the previous high at this 91.816 level. So I expect the market goes up still because daily chart is bullish. So I continue to look for the buy chance. But um, what I try to say is at the moment, this is not the perfect timing for an entry to buy. I wait for the market also to go up in one or 30 minute chart and then look for an entry edge by lower time frame is my strategy. So that was CatJPY. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you here. Yeah, Kulan, yeah. So here is the CatJPY analysis. All right, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining. Let's see. USD CAD, all right. So let me check USD CAD. So here is USD CAD and let me check the daily chart first. Always check the bigger time frames and break it down to the lower time frame is the key. I do the top down analysis always. So if you see the daily chart like this, then what would you think? Is this downtrending, uptrending, ranging market? And just let me tell the answer uh, for today's live stream. And this is bearish to me. And the reason is because the Kumo is going down. And not only the Kumo is going down, Kumo itself, if you see the shape of the Kumo, it's getting thicker and thicker. Right? Kumo is getting thicker and thicker here. And it's getting longer as time goes on. And this is the sign of the continuous downtrend in the long term. So this is a nice and sound bearish trend on the daily chart basis. And then you see that Kijun Sen is also pointing downwards. This is also the sign of bearishness. And then uh, this uh, Tenkan Sen is also pointing downwards too. And Chikou spun below the candles. So this is a beautiful downtrend. It broke the, it's breaking the previous support at this uh, 1.20115 level and I expect the market continuously go down and support line breakout can happen. Maybe today or tomorrow it can happen. So, um, and with that in mind, I look at the one hour chart. And here is an one hour chart. In one hour chart, you can also see that the Kumo's down. Kumo's down and also Kumo's getting thicker like this way and it's sloping down Senko span B's down and A's down too and Kijun Sen downwards Tenkan Sen down too and also Chikou span below the candles so this is a bearish trend by Ichimoku on this one hour chart too so if you see the one hour chart also downtrending then we can expect the market breaks the support line and goes downwards its way. But as time goes on, the Kumo could be flat and Kijun Sen can be flat also and Tenkan Sen also can be flat. And then um, the market should retrace backwards this way and then uh, you don't want to look for the sell chance anymore. But as long as you see these uh, lines are moving down this way, in one hour chart or 30 minute time frame, then this is bearish and we can still expect the market breaks the support downwards in this situation. So uh, yeah, and then also I compare the 30 minute chart. Um, yeah, and 30 minute chart is also downtrending too. Kumo down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below the candles. So in 30 minute chart, this is also downtrending. So this is good. So if you are still not trading yet uh, today on this particular pair, Dado CAD, we can start to look for exactly where to sell in this condition. And first of all, you never look for buy chance in this case. You might think that, oh, there is a Doji candle stick in 15 and it can go up this way. It might become a inverse head and shoulders and it might go up this way. You might think like this way too, but to me, uh, it's unlikely 
unless the market breaks the neckline, it's unlikely because this is downtrending as we confirmed on the daily chart and one hour chart and 30 minute chart, this is downtrending. So instead of instead of uh, instead of thinking that this can be inverse head and shoulders, um, you better think that this is consecutively bearish in waves this way. So the market is retracing backwards now, but you can still expect the market breaks and goes consecutive reverse in the wave. But once the market goes up this way, then you have to look for the exit timing at some point. But here is the probability. So the probability in this case for the market to be down is uh, relatively higher than it goes up and that's why you look for the sell chance. So coming back to this topic of the entry edge, first of all, I look at the 15 minute time frame and then I look at the five. But now if I see the 15 minute time frame, this is bearish and the market is in, in a band walking. This is, I use the Bollinger Bands. This is Bollinger Band. These are two bands. Division one, two with a per period 20 is my setting of the Bollinger Bands. And the price is in between division one, two and it's been going down this way. So this is bundle walking. And um, I can take that as one of the confirmations for entry chance. Stochastic is about to gold cross. So simply I don't look at this one, Stochastic. Um, and also, so I expect the market goes down this way consecutively. And most likely in this situation, um, another condition for an entry edge is this a reversal line. I can see that the uh, the previous support supports are going to be resistance and we can expect the market goes down this way continuously. So that's also a um, good example for this uh, bearishness to continuation. So, and since we have the pin bar Sorry, the doji candlestick in the previous candlestick in 15 chart. Uh, once the market breaks the doji candlestick, it can go down continuously. So that will be a good sell chance when we see that. So we have to wait for the candle close to be clearly below the previous support line. And once the market breaks the support line, then that will be a great chance to sell. So precisely the tip of the wick of this uh, doji candlestick is 1.20094 level. Once it breaks, that will be a great sell chance. But if the market goes up this way, if the market starts to go up from here, then I would exit when the market breaks the neckline, breaks the previous support, previous resistance in 15, then I will exit here or I will exit once the market breaks even further up and breaks the previous clear resistance level. And with this in scenario, I take a sell. And this is also very important to keep in mind. When you see the downtrend, then you would only think about the market goes down and you might not think about when to exit. But this important mindset is that you have to create these two scenarios always. If the market continuously go down, then when exactly would you move the stop to break even? And when exactly you start to trial the profits along the way? But if the market reverses backwards, then when would you exit? And with these scenarios in your mind, you take trades. Once I said uh, once before, I said that the uh, you know you have to treat every position as a business. And I was talking to one of the GTS members, and we were talking about that discussion too. But we have to treat all the positions as a business. So every time you set up a company, you run it. Once you have losses, then at some point you have to exit. And then once you have new opportunity, then with a certain risk of money, you enter the market. 
So in Forex trading, you can just do this on a few clicks and the operation is so easy. If you have a PC or mobile, just click a few, few taps and you can take trades, you can exit. But actually the mindset is very, very important. So this is scenario in the 15 minute time frame and I do the same in a 5 minute chart and see which way the market goes. All right, Mr. Finantis, thank you for joining here. And View Graham, Andrew thank you for joining. Louis, good to see you too. All right. Louis says, uh, "What exactly difference between your public live and membership live?" Um, the 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 uh, I have the membership Ichimoku membership here, and this is a monthly subscription. This is a uh, thirty dollars USD monthly subscription and uh, in here I do the membership lives twice a week Thursdays and Saturdays I do the membership lives and on this Ichimoku community I ex extensively talk about the Ichimoku Kinkohyo itself the strategy of the Ichimoku Kinkohyo and uniqueness of Ichimoku Kinkohyo I talk about it mainly on this Ichimoku community membership live and also because there are less viewers of course on this Ichimoku community than public lives, you can ask me direct, direct questions and uh, we can get closer communications. Yeah, but here in public, I talk about basically on any topics. Yep. Oh, by the way, uh, the, the number of subscription on my YouTube channel is becoming almost um, 30k. So thank you everyone for the support continuously as always. When the number reaches above 30k, then I will do another special live stream. And I'm expecting that's gonna come sometime this week. So when, when it happens, I will let you know. That will be another special life before I go to do, go to Dubai. So I'm feeling nervous now because I will be going or, or moving to Dubai on the 20, 29th of June. Most likely that will be the date where I move and travel to Dubai. So yeah, and we are already in June now. So I have less than 30 days here in Japan. So I'm feeling nervous, but at the same time, I'm so excited to do it. That will be my new journey on my life. All right, let's see. Maron, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Melanie, thank you for joining. Tam, good to see you too. All right, Ray and Sorosh, thank you for joining as well. Chan, good to see you too. All right, so Vic, good to see you too from India. Thank you for joining here. All right, Dayan, good to see you. All right, let's see. Daryl, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Yep, so Dottocad. So let's see. Looks like traders are interested on this pair, Dottocad. So let me go into the five minute chart and let me show you exactly how I look for an exit or entry edges on the five minute chart. So here's five. And let's see. In five, Oh, there are consecutive pin bars and doji candles, three doji candles. And it looks like the doji has been broken upwards this way. So this is um, temporarily retracing, retracing sign. Doji breakout in any time frames is the potential reversal when it goes against the major direction. So it could go up from here. It could retrace upwards this way. So, um, yeah, we have to be careful on this one. But at the same time, once the market breaks the dojis and the support, then it can go down this way. Scarcity has been gold crossing, so I don't look at the scarcity in this situation. And Bollinger Japan Band is not really expanding, nor it's band walking, so I don't really take care of this uh, Bollinger Band in this situation. 
So if I see the 15 minute time frame, then um, I can see that there was a resistance zone here in between 1.2028 and 1.2026 level. This was a resistance zone, I would say, or reversal zone. There was a previous support in this area, and now it's become it could become resistance, and the market can go down this way. And let's see, this is in terms of Fibonacci retracement. So I also use the Fibonacci retracement, and here I can see that the price level of 1.20260 level is exactly the 61.8% level. So once the market breaks that level, then I won't look for any sale chances, but as long as the market is below that level and may continue to go down, on, for example, on this uh, bearish new waves, then I will take that sell and expect the market breaks the support. So, uh, yeah, basically I look for three confirmations. I say three or more confirmations for an entry chance. So, this particular candlestick in five minute chart is gonna close in about one and ten seconds. So, we'll see if the market is gonna be breaking the Fibonacci level or it may be trace backwards and continue to go to towards the major direction or not in this situation. Let's see, Martin. Yeah, so the Bollinger Band setting is third. Uh, Bollinger Band setting is period 20 with the two bands one with the division one, another one with the division two. I have two bands on the Bollinger Bands with the same period 20. So the, the dotted line in the middle is the 20 SMA. This is center line. This is the Bollinger Bands 20 SMA. All right, Kate says, uh, can you analyze gold? Yeah, let me check gold soon after this analysis. Let me quickly check some other questions or comments on this one. The real says, do you see P wave on DollarCat daily chart? Let me see P wave on the daily chart. Um, I think yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is a descending P wave. Yeah, the lows are same level, and highs are going down down this way. This is a lower highs, and low as a support. So this is descending trend line. It can test the trend line. It can the market can go up to upwards this way. But I expect overall is bearish, so I expect the market breaks downwards this way. It can happen today or tomorrow or sometime this week. It could be due to some news uh, in the US. This week we have uh, NFP and also ADP employment rate is also important news. So the trigger could be due to some news this week. Yeah, please remember that every first week of the month, we have big events, big news, so we have to watch out for the volatility in the market. Or it can be a trigger for the new trend sometimes. Personally, I don't really take trades based on the news. I watch news, I see what's coming for the news next, but I don't really take trades based on the news. All my trades are based basically based on the analysis, Ichimoku, price action, and multiple time frames. And I take trades on this Forex period on the right side on, on the on this watch list, and also I take trades gold. Fai says um, you look the trade after the news on CAD. Uh, yeah, to be safer, that's good. To be safer, that would be great, I would say. Yeah, never trade before the news happens. Before means never trade before, before the um, how do you say like uh, you know before, like one hour or so, one or two hours before you don't take trades. 
Marathon, yeah, that will be a special live stream after 30k subscription. Yes. So Rush, thank you for the comment. <laughs> Kate says, uh, you're going to live in Dubai, yes. Uh, yes, I will be living in Dubai. Yeah, so I already got the visa and Emirates ID uh, a couple of months ago. And now here I'm in Japan. I have to do some paperwork documents and visit some some uh, some old like uh, places where I grew up in Tokyo. I want to visit there before I really move to Dubai because I'm not sure when I will be coming back to Japan next time yeah after due to corona due to COVID situation uh, it's been kind of difficult to uh, visit or come back to Japan so once I move to Dubai then I will be in Dubai for at least a couple of years or so so the day is getting closer now it's uh, it's less than 30 30 days. Time flies. Yeah, Mr. Fernandez, that's right. That will be a special live stream. <laughs> yeah, so every time the market, that the, uh, sorry, the, not the market, every time the subscriber reaches to these uh, milestone numbers, I do the special live stream. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Bestiani and Silk Road, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Yeah, Dubai is tax free, that's right. If you, ha if you set up the company in the free zone, then uh, it becomes tax free now. Fai says that there's another news on Friday coming on CAD. Yeah, 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 that's right. Towards the end of the Friday, there's a cat, cat news, so have to be careful. Alright, so let me talk about the gold. So let's see, gold on the daily chart. This is bullish as per Ichimoku confirmations. Uh, it's bullish. The Kumo's up right now, Senko Span B's up, A's up now. And Kijun Sen is also pointing up for us. Tenkan Sen also moving up this way. And Chiko span above the candles and this is bullish. And looks like the market broke the P wave upwards now and looks like this is continuously bullish now. If you can squeeze the chart. Oh sorry, let me move it to the weekly time frame. On the weekly chart, I was seeing that there was a P wave structure and looks like the market broke the P wave upwards last week. And Looks like it's continuously bullish trend at the moment. And with that in mind, I look at also the forward chart. In forward chart, it's a retracing. But the price above the Kijun Sen still, you can see that the, uh, let me s enlarge. And you can find that the, the price is above the Kijun Sen here. It's been supported a couple of times by the Kijun Sen in forward chart. So in this pattern, it could be supported and continuously go up this way. But now, looks like it's still retracing, so this is not a good timing to look for a buy chance. Because it could break the Kijun Sen and it could retrace backwards to the Kumo in this situation. And you can confirm this by looking at the lower time frames. So, for example, if you look at the 1 hour chart, then you see the retracement. In one hour chart, you can see that the price is exactly into the Kumo now, and Senko Span A is retracing backwards while Senko Span B rem remains flat. So it broke the Kijun Sen already in one hour chart, and this is a deeper retracement as usual. So Chikou Span also broke the candlesticks. So in this situation, um, what I wait for is that I wait for the market to go up first of all, and Kumo needs to go up also. 
So first of all, Kumo needs to go up after the market goes up this way. And Kijun Sen first goes flat and then it goes upwards at some point. And then Chikou Span comes above the candles and then I look for the buy chance. But unless it happens, I won't look for any buy chance on this particular case. So we have to be very exact on what condition you look for buy chance, what condition you don't look for buy chance. And I'm not even talking about when to take a trade. I'm not saying that when you take trades or not. You ha I'm saying that you have to be exact on when you look for the entry edge when you don't look for the entry edge in lower time frames. Um, let me go back to the weekly time frame. On the weekly chart, this is also still um, kind of not really strong uptrend at the moment because uh, the Kumo is sloping up, but this is bearish Kumo. In my chart color settings, um, this uh, dark gray, dark dark. Uh, Dark Kumo is bullish, and this uh, light gray is bearish Kumo. So this particular Kumo is bearish, although it's going up this way, it's bearish Kumo. So in that sense, uh, we better wait for the Kumo to twist bullish, at least t for, um, for a continuous uptrend afterwards. And Chikou Span also is a bit too close with the past candles, and this is not really a good timing for an entry chance either on this one. Yeah. So simply I stay away in this kind of a situation because the market is retracing backwards in one hour chart. Yeah, this is not a beautiful or consecutive bullish new waves anymore. Before, after this pin bar, the market was bullish, consecutively bullish in wave, as you can see. But exactly from here, from the 6 a.m. today in UTC time zone, it turned bearish. And now we have this bearish in wave afterwards. And the market is all the way down to the Kumo here. So we don't see any sign of uptrend on this one hour chart. So simply in this situation, you do nothing is the answer. Yeah, do nothing is also the part of the job for traders. Yeah, the opportunity is not there all the time, obviously. We have to be very specific on when to take trades, when not to take trades, or when to see charts, when not to see charts. Yeah, we don't want to take time. We don't want to spend time all day just looking charts and take trades and losses. It's not the way it should be. We have to be patient in that sense to wait for an edge to come. All right, uh, Martin, you're welcome here. Orvin says, uh, Hi, what do you think about Euro JPY? All right, let me check Euro JPY. Let's see, in a daily chart, this is too bullish. I put my analysis on this uh, particular Euro JPY today on my YouTube, uh, oh, sorry, on my uh, TradingView account. So, uh, because uh, I think that this is too bullish because this uh, Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up also, and Chikou Span above the candles. And I expect the market breaks. This uh, resistance level of a 134.052 level upwards this way continuously. And let me check the one hour chart. In one hour chart, um, looks like the market broke the P wave. So here's the P wave structure, which is my favorite setup for any breakouts. So there was a P wave that I captured on this particular pair, Euro JPY, on the one hour time frame. And the market broke the P wave upwards and tested the P wave and looked like this is going up this way.
However, as you can see the Kumo and Kijun Sen lines, these are flat. The Senko Span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen flat now. So that means it can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. So in that sense, this is not a good timing to look for buy chance because there is a potential retracement in this situation. So uh, you don't want to take trades just because the line broke out or just because the pre wave has been broken upwards. You have to also look at these Kumo Kijunsen angles and also uh, other conditions, confirmations and see which one is good setup to take trades, which one to avoid taking trades. And that is my part of the strategy. All right, Alessman, thank you for the words. Yes, thank you for, thank you for the encouragement. All right, Ko, thank you for joining here. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, no fun payrolls in the U.S. also in Friday. That will be a big event. All right, Jay says, um, Kason, nice watching your video. Here to share AUD USD. Thanks. All right. AUD USD. Um, all right. So, at a glance, this is ranging because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat on the daily chart. Chikou span also touching. And also in forward chart, it's also ranging too. That Kumo's very thin like a thread. Or that uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen going in opposite direction and Chikou span touching. So this is also ranging. So as soon as his, as soon as this is market, I avoid taking trades because we never know which way it's going. So we don't want to take trades where the, there's a chance of 50-50. We always look for an edge to buy or sell. And I don't see any edges in this particular pair on daily or forward chart. So simply I do nothing on this particular pair. World uh, says, uh, which is more important, Tenkan Sen, um, Tenkan Sen gold cross in 30 minute chart, one hour chart, or daily chart? I would say that daily chart is the most important one. Yeah, daily chart. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so Rosh says, um, Entity CAD, could you look at it? All right, Entity CAD. So I don't personally take trades on the music pairs. So this is just for your information. Um, Newsy cat daily chart shows bearish, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. And then in one hour chart, this is now flat. Flat Kumo Kijun Sen. Kumo is a bit too thin here, so it can retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. 30 flat too, so it's consolidating now. Or it can retrace. It can retrace back to the level of the previous support at this um, 0 0.87360 level and then it can go down this way all right jade you're welcome you're welcome for the aud usd analysis and thank you for the words he says all the best to trip to your trip to dubai Hope to meet you there if opportunity arise. Yes, hope to see you too over there. Let's see, looks like the market is retracing everywhere. So let me check the strength chart one more time. And I can see that the cat is 
going bearish now. The purple line is CAD and it's going down at the moment, so looks like CAD pairs are retracing. But Swiss France is getting stronger, so we might find some opportunities on Swiss France pairs. So Swiss Fran USD, Swiss Fran uh, New Zealand, Swiss Fran Pound looks good for the moment. So uh, yeah, let's see. Stock says um, any strategy using Chikospan and any other indicators. Um, Chikospan, I use it with uh, Ichimoku 5 lines or 4 lines. So I don't usually use Chikospan by itself to take trades, or I don't really combine Chikospan with other, other, uh, other indicators to take trades. Yeah, Chikospan itself is very powerful. Chikospan is a yellow line. In my chart card is saying, and this is the lagging span. As it may know already, this is the lagging span. This is shifted 26 candles backwards and takes a close price. That's a Chikou span. And this is very strong. Chikou span breakout, Chikou span uh, yeah, synchronized with the past candles. And Chikou span sometimes bounces by the previous candles which can also be a good sign I mean one of the good signs to take trades Chikospan will also uh, be reacted by the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen or Senkospan B so Chikospan itself by itself is very unique and simply it shows the momentum of the market Okay, so let's see. Oh, looks like I will be ending the live stream in about five minutes. So let me quickly check some other comments here. Suru says, can you show some previous trades you've taken? Um, yes, I will show it to you on other time. I have a spreadsheet where I track my records and yeah, I can show it to you. Um, Sovik says, um, okay, your Ichimoku videos have helped me to understand a successful breakout. That's great to hear, Sovik. So, yeah, please practice. Please keep practicing until you get confident. Alright, Mark here. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here too. Barkatura says, um, what about GBP, GPY? You mean JPY? GBP, JPY. Um, pound JPY is also trending in a daily basis. Kumo up, Kijun Sen up. But now there's a re deep retracement. So this is not a good timing to buy. It can fall to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. Or somewhere in the middle, it can it can fall. So, because in lower time frame is flat, so this is bullish as per daily basis. But this is not a beautiful. I mean, this is not a good opportunity to buy in this situation. Okay. Oh, Ash says um. Hi Kim, new person here from Australia. I want to talk to you if you're happy to share your WhatsApp number. Very keen to learn tradings. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. As Marusen put, you can join the uh, the uh, yeah the Ichimoku community on the link on the chat or below the description. Or if you really wish to learn my strategy that I talked today. Um, I have the GTS. This is a global trading school. And the next one that's coming up is in July. This is a three months intensive course. This is very difficult. This is very tough. It's a tough course. In three months, you have you have uh, 
you have assignment every week, you have to take many screenshots every time you take trace, I ask you to take screenshots and upload, and you may comment on your analysis and trace, and I review all these analysis and trace. So, for the three months, if you wish to master my strategy as a whole, holistic, Ichimoku, multiple time frames with the risk management and psychological management, then DTA, sorry, GTS will be the one for you. But unfortunately, I don't do WhatsApp. So um, if you can join on either one, that would be great. Okay, everyone. So I guess I will be ending the live stream for now. So sorry, I, I get more comments and questions, but unfortunately, the time running out, so I have to go. But hopefully you enjoyed today's live stream as well. So if you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these live streams or videos every day on my YouTube channel. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay old everyone. All right, bye for now. Matane. Matane means see you in Japanese. So, matane, thank you.